Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I know I'm late with this review, but, you know, I was on a little vacay, and um, you know how I get when I go on vacation, you know. You know how I get. Well, some of the new people don't know how I get. How I get is basically I just disappear from the world pretty much, girl. Um, at least I try to. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this second. Uh, I'm gonna, I haven't watched episode three yet. So this is the review for the second episode of P-Valley, one of uh, my favorite new shows. Um, all right, so basically the episode starts off you see someone who looks like a white man, in my opinion. Who is this white man? Okay, whatever. And, girl, you see the camera starting to pan down. And, girl, all of a sudden, girl, all I saw was penis. All I saw was cock and balls in my face. And, girl, then all of a sudden, girl, you see them bringing out whips. Girl, I say yes! Come on, SMS by Rihanna. Sucks in the air, can't let the smell of it. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but chains and whips inside me. Yes! I'm like, come on, baby. That wasn't her beating that nigga. Ooh. Anyways, so, you know what I'm not, That's not the type of shit I mean. I know some of y'all like that freaky shit. Shout out to all y'all who into them whips and chains and tying people up and all that stuff. Because, baby, this is not no 50 Shades of Grey. I'm not doing none of that, okay? Um, Isaiah Washington. I said Isaiah Washington. I saw his name in the credits. I don't know if y'all remember, but Isaiah Washington, he fucked up his career. Um, he was on Grey's Anatomy. And remember, um, he got into it with I can't remember the story in detail, um, but I remember him basically calling the gay guy on the show a faggot or something like that. And I remember him getting fired and his career has never been the same. So I was, and when I saw him on the screen, I was kind of surprised that he would participate in a show like this because this may sound, I guess it's not true, but in my opinion, it's almost kind of like it's almost kind of like somebody being on a show like Pose and you don't like gay people. Like I get it, like this is this is this is the job. But how can you really and truly fully promote this show when you don't even really fuck with the people who you work with? You know what I'm saying? Or like I don't know. I just think it's weird that he would be on a show like this, and in real life he's like a big Trump supporter. This, I don't know if that's like, maybe I'm reaching. Maybe I'm reaching, but he's a Trump supporter. I think he's a Republican in real life. He's a big Trump supporter from what I think I understand and what, from what I've seen. So I think it's weird that he would be on a show like Pussy Valley. <laughs> we, like, you got Uncle Clifford and... I don't know, girl. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's just me, but shout out to Isaiah Washington, girl. You finally, you finally got you another job. Ain't it crazy how... Um, just let me shut up. Um, Autumn Night. Autumn Night is dancing for a stud. Y'all see the difference between men and women? Do y'all see? That's why, like, even I've had conversations with, like, some of my female friends, relatives, and they don't really like going to strip club, male strip clubs. They'll rather go to a female strip club because they feel as though the male strip clubs, they do too much. You know, they want to pick you up and do all, toss you up and down. And like, the girls, I know they ain't got time for all that. Like, girl, why bitches, why you just can't dance on me, me give you a couple of dollars and you going buy your business? Like, don't be picking me up and putting me in the app. <laughs> you know? Um, I feel like there's a big difference between men that go to, of course, the female strip club and women who go to the female strip club. As we can see, like you saw like the last the last show, how old dude couldn't even he grabbing on Autumn and all that stuff. You know. Anyways, child. So Uncle Clifford tell <laughs> when Uncle Clifford <laughs> Ow. When I tell you my favorite person on the show is Uncle Clifford. But Uncle Clifford and Mercedes so far are my two favorite people on the show. Um, but Uncle, Uncle Clifford is by far, I call him Santana's mama. That's Santana's mama. Um, but Uncle Clifford, when he called Autumn Summer's Eve, <laughs> he 
said he need a, he need an uh, he need an ID from her. Um, he needs an ID, you know. Um, and I'm guessing the ID that she picked up in the suitcase that wasn't her. So basically, I guess she lost her ID. She doesn't have an ID. I don't know. Um, really, we don't really know what's going on with Autumn. I think at this point, it's safe to assume that she was in an abusive relationship. Um, she had a daughter or has a daughter. Um, I'm assuming she came from New Orleans. Like they're, because I said that before, like I thought it was going to be a story based on New Orleans because of the water and all that, you know, Hurricane Katrina. Um, but I really don't know a lot about Autumn. Um, but anyways, Uncle Clifford goes out for some for some uh, fresh air um, because he had just had, got had a conversation with uh, the guy I guess who does the accounting for the uh, for the building. Hold up, y'all! I'm thirsty. So, anyways, he goes out after the conversation he had with I guess the accountant for P Valley. And um, girl, La Murder, La Murder is in the back seat. Girl, Uncle, Uncle, see, Uncle Clifford, I ain't feel sorry for you, bitch. That's what y'all hoes get for fucking with Trey. Y'all be wanting to fuck with Trey, but girl, you thought that Trey was about to end your life. If you thought Trey was about to end your life, this wouldn't happen if you would fuck with uh, Russell Wilson or Barack. But what happens, this is what happens when you fuck a up murders. <laughs> they sneak in your back seat and you be thinking you about to get popped. <laughs> but y'all love them. Y'all love them. Anyways, so um, Lil Murder is basically having a conversation with uh, him about him not playing his music in the um, at the at the spot, at the at the club, at the uh, strip, at the joint, at the, I can't even get it out. Remember the first episode, um, he tried to get the DJ to play his music for Mercedes set and Mercedes basically shut that shit down. So he's mad that his music didn't get, his music did, did not get played. And so Uncle Cliff was just like, bitch, I can't do that in the bathroom. You need to make something that, that these bitches want to dance to. Um, they didn't have sex. Let me just put that put out there. They didn't have sex. <laughs> he said, you probably can take it anyway. He said, it ain't that big. <laughs> um, so Mercedes is going for a job. Come on, come on, come on, black woman for working out, trying to get the, keep that body in shape. Girl, that nigga, girl, remember that's a nigga from being Mary Jane. I don't know if y'all remember. Um, being married, I think that's where he from. I remember because when he when he came from, girl, that nigga fine. I said, bitch, between him and Diamond, <laughs> bitch, between him and Sean Brock, like a diamonds, girl, girl, we could have some fun. You know, I don't even do threesomes like that, but girl, you know, every rule is meant to be meant to be bent, right? Um, anyways, child, that nigga fine as hell. Uh, Mercedes talking about, I ain't even see, <laughs> what she say, I ain't even see you there. You ain't see all that fine ass nigga laying underneath that car, cause bitch, I saw him from back there around the corner. So bitch, I know you saw him when you ran your big ass up. Okay? Anyways, child, um, her mama. <laughs> when that man plucked something from her eye, <laughs> girl, I said, girl, is he about to take her eyelash? Girl, when he did this, and girl, he pulled back. Girl, th girl, that's a feather. Girl, I guess she must have had something in her eyelash, and he pulled it out. And girl, when he pulls it out, girl, girl, it was it was like this. Girl, it was this side. <laughs> girl, it was a small little thing in her eyelash, but when he pulled it out and they showed it in the camera, girl, it was this size. Girl, did you just pull a whole bird from her eyelash? And girl, why are you picking at her eyelash? If that hole would have came off, I would have screamed. They charged for sick. They charged for. She said he was asking her about some more money. She said she could do some uh, more uh, sick, uh, sick and shut ins. Girl, they charged for sick and shut ins. I said, girl, when I tell you, baby, I'm not gonna say nothing because I don't want to upset the Christians. I don't want to upset the saints. 
Girl, I know y'all. Do you? I didn't know this. Do y'all really charge? Do y'all really charge for sick and shut-ins? Girl, y'all be scamming. Anyways, girl, let me shut up. Um. So the guy goes to this house, and it's two white guys, two brothers, and I think his name is Andre. Andre is out in the field, and girl, it looked like it looked like a slave plantation. Um, and he tells Andre if he wants to pick some, he can pick. Like girl, I said, bitch. So come to find out, the guy that the guy who I thought was white, I guess he's actually black. Well, he's I think he's he's biracial. Um, I think their father had sex with a black woman. I think that's how the story was, and that's how he came about. Um, did y'all? Is it just me? The brother, the black one, the mixed one. Is he kind of fine to y'all? I said he kind of fine. And I love the way he talk. He kind of fine to me. These are, I'm sorry, Diamond, that nigga underneath that car and his little ass. You know I like my niggas big. You know I like my niggas the size of Diamond and that nigga underneath that car. You know I like my nigga shaped like that. But that little one, he kind of sexy too. That motherfucker had all types of blood and shit on his goddamn bag. I said, mm -hmm. anyway, child. So something is going on with the brothers. I guess I couldn't really keep up, and I and I actually watched the episode like two times, y'all. Uh, I couldn't really understand what was going on. I think that they're, they're about to build a casino. Y'all help me. Y'all have to un help me understand what's going on because I don't really get that part. I think they're building a building a casino. And I don't understand what Andre comes in. I guess he is selling the land. See, I got confused with Andre and the whole brothers in the casino thing. Like, I didn't know if they were trying to use or if they're going to be trying to use Uncle Clifford's property or, you know, where the club is at. See, I, I, I'm confused on that part. Um... When, when that little girl said, how am I supposed to drop it, Mercedes? And it's, what she say? How am I drop it like it's hot on this asphalt, Mercedes? <laughs> yeah, I said, yes, ma'am, little mama. Girl, ain't nobody back there who's dropping it like it's hot on this hot-ass concrete, okay? Girl, I was so mad at them little niggas who drove by. Mercedes out there teaching these little girls, you know, having, having a meeting with her little girls, the mamas there. And the, these little niggas drive by, you know, basically tell her to shake her ass or something. I thought that was so inappropriate. See, niggas like that. <laughs> Clearly, Mercedes does not hide what she does. Everybody in town knows that Mercedes is a stripper, okay? Everybody knows that. But I don't think that Mercedes wants you coming around her little girls. I mean, not, those are not her little girls, little girls. You know, the little girls on her team. You know, her little dance team. But I'm sure Mercedes don't want you bringing your ass around her. Around her, little, around these little girls, saying shit like that. Ugh, I can't stand niggas. Anyways, um, so they're having the um the car wash. They're having the annual car wash. Um, girl, that's about the most them bitches could do. I think they're doing all changes. Baby, I said, I, baby, I wouldn't even let these bitches put gas in my car. I'm damn sure not gonna let them change my oil. Do you hear me, girl? No, absolutely. Not. I'm not saying y'all can't change oil. Yes, I am. <laughs> y'all ain't changing my oil. As fine as, as fine as y'all might be, y'all ain't that fine to get underneath the hood of my car. Bitch, y'all gonna put the y'all gonna put the oil in a motherfucking gas tank, okay? Anyway, shall so. Um, Isaiah Washington. He is the I forgot his name. He is the mayor of the city. And Uncle Clifford is the mayor of Pussyfield. Girl, when I tell you, when Isaiah Washington came and he got out the car and, girl, some niggas ran up to um, take a picture with Isaiah Washington's character. I, I can't remember his name, so that's why I keep calling him by his real name, Isaiah Washington. So when um, they ran up to take a picture with Isaiah Washington 
And <laughs> my Uncle Clifford ran behind him and photo bombed the picture. It was like, make sure you hashtag that soap down. <laughs> Make sure you hashtag soap down. <laughs> I don't know. When I say I absolutely adore and love Uncle Clifford, I love his character. Like, I absolutely do. Um, <laughs> girl. So, basically, I guess the law is the only way you can serve alcohol. I guess you, I guess you can have a strip club, but it can't be nudity. I guess it just can't. Even if it's a strip club, See, I got confused on this part too. So can they serve alcohol? They can serve alcohol, but the girls have to be covered up. If the girls are not, if the girls are covered up, you can serve alcohol. If the girls are not covered up, then you can't serve alcohol. That's what I got from it. And so Uncle Cliff was like, how the fuck I'm gonna say? <laughs> what do you say? Hold on, what do you say, y'all? I got it wrote down on my uh, iPad, hold up. Mm. What kind of titty boy ain't got no motherfucking titties? <laughs> what kind of titty boy ain't got no motherfucking titties? <laughs> I love Uncle Clifford. I said, that's actually true. What kind of titty boy ain't got no motherfucking titties? Like, what you fuck, what the fuck you think we supposed to do? The niggas and some of the bitches coming here to see bitches shake their titties and shake their ass. And if we got them covered up with their titties covered up, then girl, how, what we gonna do? <laughs> um... So Mercedes and Autumn are cleaning out the mayor's car. Mercedes, I mean, Autumn has like a panic attack. She starts to think she's underwater um, and she hops out of the sunroof. And, you know, it's this big scene and everybody's like shocked and they don't know what's going on. And so Uncle Clifford tells Autumn to take Mercedes home. I mean, Uncle, Uncle Clifford tells Mercedes to take Autumn home because Autumn, if I said Mercedes was in the car, Autumn was in the car and she had like a panic attack. And so Autumn was blaming blaming the situation on, uh, on Mercedes saying that Mercedes locked her in the car and Mercedes like, bitch, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, girl. Like I was just going to get some shit to wipe the car off. Anyways, um... The cook, he quits because he didn't get a raise. <laughs> Girl. I said, the reason why they shitting is because y'all not draining off them wings. When that man got them wings and dumped them right into that bowl with all that grease. I said, you're not going to like shake the, you're not going to shake it. You're not just going to sit it there and let the, let the, let the, let the grease, let the uh, grease drain. You're just going to just dump the chicken wings inside the bowl. So they in the, they in the kitchen trying to cook the chicken wings because the cook done left. Look, murder, he come and let them know, basically. He letting, he letting, letting Uncle Clifford know, like, you trying to tell, you trying to tell me that I can't take criticism. You can't take criti criticism either. So he starts uh, running down a list of shit and he talks about the wings giving people gas and how one of the strippers fought it. <laughs> The strippers farted on one of. <laughs> he said one of the strippers farted on one of his homeboys. He was like Toya. <laughs> he already knew who it was. The bitch who the bitch who was shitting and shitting up the whole goddamn uh, dressing room. That I want to know after y'all strippers after y'all strippers shit in the restroom do y'all get in the shower and wash y'all ass because I know y'all not going back out there shaking y'all fucking ass and shit ass booty holes in front of a nigga face or a bitch face I need to know did Toya what's her name Toya I think her name was Toya I want to know if Toya or Toy, whatever her name was after she shitted did she go wash her ass because bitch if you didn't you nasty Anyways, child. So 
Look, look, murder is showing um, um, uh, Uncle Cliff and them how to make some wings. Have y'all noticed? I noticed this a long time ago. You know what I was thinking about when I saw that clip? I said it's so sad how how I remember once upon a time how like you well we all know how like men are not supposed to cook, women are supposed to do the cooking. And the truth of the matter is, a lot of these niggas, especially these hood niggas, go on Instagram. These hood niggas, I don't know how they food be tasted, but every time I look up some hood nigga named Pookie is bitch posting a picture of some 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 fried chicken, collard greens, cornbread, mashed potatoes and gravy, sweet potato pie, and a homemade cake. Who the fuck? The, the hood niggas be the best cooks. I'm telling y'all. And it's so sad because I know I might be going to a whole nother. It's so sad because that just goes to show you. Just go on Instagram and look at these look at these dudes who post these pictures, who selling plates and shit out their house. It just goes to show you how talented some of these men are. It ain't no different than like I was looking. It's this one guy on Instagram who like tumbles his ass off. And just like people were saying, like it's so sad that somebody who's a, who's that talented should be like on somebody's Olympic team. Like nigga, you should be in Japan somewhere next year flipping and turning for a gold medal. But because. It's a black guy, and that's that shit that punks do. Uh, what don't no man supposed to cook? Anyways, I don't went to a whole nother. I don't went to a whole nother thing. Let me let me get back to the uh, P Valley. So, love murders in the kitchen, cooking up some wings, child, showing them how to cook. Girl, Melanie Monroe. You can't handle all this Melanie Monroe, girl. Baby, she walked off. So basically, uh, it was Autumn, her, Andre, and that fine ass little brother. That brother fine, y'all. The mix one, he fine. He ain't even fine. I think he just sexy. That's what it is to me. Whew. So basically, uh, Autumn hears them having a conversation about business. Um, Mercedes whole thing is when you see two men in the club, they end up doing business. When you see one one man in the club, he trying to spend some coin. Girl, so basically, um, at the end of the night, Mercedes basically made a few dollars. You know, she made a little stack. And so, you know, they have, they have to pay, I guess, their percentage of whatever they make to the club owner. And then they got to pay. You know, I still, some of the stuff I get... <sighs> I'm not shaking my ass. I'm not having nobody grab and grope on me and then I got to turn around and pay the bartenders. Bitch, that's your job. I'm sorry. I'm not. That's why I couldn't be no stripper because as soon as they tell me some shit like, oh, you got to pay the DJ, you got to pay the, the bartenders, you got to pay this, you got to pay that. Bitch, I might as well own the business then. Bitch, you mean to tell me I don't let this bitch, I don't let this nigga in this bitch touch on me. I done did all this work flipping the turn and going up and down this pole and bitch, I got to turn around and give you my money. That don't even make no fucking sense. And kind of like... Anyway, so uh, Clifford lets her know, stop showing out. When you know you done better than the other girls, basically shortchange me. Don't come in here and give me all this money and then the other girls looking like, how this bitch make all this money? Um, she, ain't did, she ain't did nothing. She didn't do nothing. You know, basically she, ain't, she wasn't out there giving up pussy, basically. She wasn't doing none of that because she really got the money just having a conversation. Um, but the other girls, of course, don't think that because it's like, bitch, I know you ain't made all that money just having a conversation with a nigga. She did. Um, so she was basically, she gave her, she gave Uncle Clifford her ID. Well, somebody else's ID. And Uncle Clifford knew that it was a fake ID because he tricked her with her birthday. Um, he did something, about, he said something about her birthday and she fell for it. And so that's how he knew it was a fake ID. And so she started telling him about what was going on, I guess, with Andre in the casino. And so he wants to know, he wants some more information. But when I tell you, <laughs> she said, you're not my pimp. She, he said, I ain't your pimp. He said, but I'm, I'm your employer with a fake ass ID. <laughs> and when I tell you, when I tell you, you want to sit down. I can't even lift my legs up because I ain't got no pants. You know, I just got a t-shirt and some panties on. When I tell you, he just want to, he want to sit down in that seat and go, he, <laughs> when I say he clapped, he clapped his heels together and then crossed his legs. And I tell you, I 
screamed. When I tell you, I was hollering when he sat down and and then crossed his legs. I said, this motherfucker is so extra and so over the top. I absolutely love it. Anyway, child, um, <laughs> I'm going to need you to bring back some motherfucking answers. <laughs> and clap them boots, baby, and cross his legs. So Mercedes is headed home. And um, I thought she looked so pretty with her natural hair. Um, she's headed home, and... The mom is sitting on the porch. She tell her mama she need her $20,000 because I think she's about to give her $20,000 to Uncle Clifford because Uncle Clifford, you know, is about to lose a club. So she tells her mama she need her $20,000 back by the end of this week. Uh, she, gave her, she gave her a date that she needed the money back. And the mama going to say, so you, you want your little change back? Or you want your little coin? No, you want your girl, you, you want your little coins back? Look. Don't you hate when you bought when you let a bitch borrow something? This bitch let you borrow twenty thousand dollars. She wanted back. Now you want to call it look coins, look change. If it's that look, then bitch, you shouldn't have had to go ask her for it, right? I can't stand that mama. I can't stand that mama. I can't stand that man who plucked that goddamn feather out of her goddamn face. I can't stand them. They are match made in heaven. Now, bitch, the end of this show. <laughs> So Mercedes, so Autumn calls Andre. They masturbate on the phone. Andre jacks off. Girl, I looked up and girl, I just saw a trailer nut. All of his guy. I said, girl. When I tell you, bitch, they are not playing with these scenes. They are not playing with these scenes. And that's all I got to say. Shout out to Pete Valley, one of my favorite shows. All right, y'all, I'm about to go watch uh, episode three. And then I'll be back with episode three review. Bye.